Hi guys, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to my Darkest Dungeon series, and this is episode four, and it's a sad, sorry state of events, but we've only lost one guy. Uh, let's take a look at our uh, graveyard. There we go. <laughs> um, whatever. Untimely death. So, well, we wish you well in your journey. He, he, he bled out. <laughs> it tells you how they died. That's so cool. All right, so... Uh, let's he uh, deal with our healing and stuff here. So we've got, he's a stress eater. <laughs> it's a permanent effect too. 100% food consumed if stress above 50. So plus 100%. So he eats twice as much. Great. Um, and he's, uh, let's see, he, he improved meditation. Okay, so he likes to meditate. Let's get you meditating. I know he's diseased. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> oh! Did I mention the caretaker? likes to do things and occupy spots, especially when you need them. It's like this game knows. It's like, he's probably gonna need meditation, so let's use up that spot. Now, what we could do, no we can't. Cause you can actually buy extra slots, but we don't have the, we, we, you have to win missions to get these things, right? So we haven't been doing that a lot. So True Blood is go not going to be doing that. He's actually gonna, I'm gonna send him to go heal one of his many diseases. Uh, camping skills, I don't care about right now. The Blight Resist, yeah, we'll take that. Spotted Fever, it's not a huge one. It's not terrible, terrible, but... <laughs> he feels healthier already. All right, the, 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 having them, them chatting, it's super funny. They say super funny stuff. All right, so uh, we have two healers now. Thank God. Without the healers, like, honestly, it's trouble, man. Um, Zavifura, let's see what you can... Obsessed with food. Uh, will not pray. Prone to stealing items. Uh, he's a warrior of light, plus 10 damage, and he's a beast slayer. Okay, so, but he can do anything. So, why don't you go have a drink at the bar? Can we make that a little bit better? Increase the stress recovery. Yeah. Run as Strong as drink. A game of chance. And companionship. Of course, I, I want to invest the in, the, in, the, in the blacksmith and the guild, but we just, we can't afford it right now. So... Sorry. There we go. Uh, oh. Sorry, I just had to readjust. Yeah, so we, we can't... We, I mean, we don't have... Honestly, <laughs> we don't have the money... To, even if we could upgrade so that we can actually use these things right now, the guild and such, we don't have the money to actually buy the skills for the characters. So we might as well just be upgrading the tavern and stuff because it doesn't actually cost money. It just costs, um, like, the, the sigils and the crests and the deeds and all that to upgrade these. So, okay, so Zofafura is... Resting. Uh, we're probably going to take Rune Raider. Who are we taking? We're taking Rune Raider. Ike Theodactyl. Uh, we need a second. So I think we'll do Rune Raider Tariq. He's, he's a little stressed, but he's not bad. It's not bad. Is there any reason why we shouldn't take him out? No, I think he's fine. So we're going to take out Rune Raider Tariq. Lap ups now. Can we send him to go rest? I don't think there's any reason why we can't. Enlightened. In town, we'll only meditate. That's right. Never mind. Uh, we need to upgrade meditation. Oh, and honestly, I would go in and rip the caretaker out of his bed and say, you got us to come here, so get the hell out. Get. Okay, so Lapaps now is going to sit on his butt. Oh, he, no, he can't. <laughs> I was going to say he can go uh, cure a disease, but it actually would have been way better to send him because the ague is worse than Spotted Fever. So, I don't know. We can actually open up the new rooms here, but uh, we can't do that right now because we need the sigils and all that. All right, so whatever. So Lapaps now is going to sit here on his butt and be stressed. Uh, Evil Barrel. He can... Okay, yeah, he can go rest. Okay, so where can you go? Uh, maybe go have a drink? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Oops, sorry, bumped my mic. Hang on. There we go. Um, we can send him to go gamble. That didn't turn out well last time, but, you know. Okay, and uh, True Blood. Okay, I think I think we're good to go. I, it's the most we can possibly do to release some stress. And I think we've got enough people to go on our next quest, so let's just go. <laughs> Anything but another... Well, you're coming, dude. Sorry. Um, it's a good combination, actually, because he's a he buffs, and this guy, of course, does lots of damage. So those two together are really good. And, of course, we are going to... This is a level zero group, except for... 
the healer. I think we'll take the higher level healer, and we're gonna take a Dactyl. <laughs> he believes he's possessed. He's actually really good. Robust, plus 15 disease resist, plus five accuracy, and he's tough, plus max, plus 10% max HP. Okay, so yeah, good. Uh, I think that's a fairly good combination. We could do that, or we could do the archer. I don't know. Uh. Ichthyodactyl is... Oh, he's, he's not he's not level 1 either. What skills does he have? Uh, let's just take a look at that. So, shh, Oh, right. Actually, I'm going to take the other healer. The other healer has one of my favorite skills. It's the Judgment. Awesome skill. Which, which damages the enemy and heals her. Uh, let's see. He's got uh, Sniper Shot and Bola, which are both really good. And he can heal, too, as well. Ooh, that's really tempting. Really tempting. And Ike Theodactyl actually can't... He doesn't have anything to apply damage. That's the only downside to him. He's not really great at applying damage. So I think we're going to put him on ice for now. And we're going to bring our sniper. And we'll put the healer as number three. Okay, so I think we're good to go. And we're going to... Should we scout again? Uh, scout, like I said, you saw, you saw last time how beneficial scouting can be over other things. We could go start venturing into other areas. <coughs> Spend no gold. What did he say? Spend no gold on my armor? He's, 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 he's afflicted right now. It's masochistic, right? Spend no gold on his armor because he wants to be punished. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I think we could do either skirmish. You know what? Let's do skirmish. We've got some good healing power. Both these guys can heal. And can he heal? Yeah, we've got three healers. Let's do a skirmish. That's good. Um, and of course, I think you get, I don't know if you get more for doing skirmishes. I think you get more treasure for doing skirmishes for sure. And uh, do we have any tools that we can use? Uh, let's see. Grave robber only. Uh, we don't have Grave Robber. Plus 2 speed, minus, plus 10 move resist. Oh, that'd be nice for some of these battles. And minus 4 accuracy. And a High Women Only thing. Okay, whatever. Right, that's an uncommon one. That's right, I remember that one. Okay, but we need to fix Mr. Pat's diseases if he ever gets out of being ill. Or getting <laughs> being stressed, whatever. Okay, let's go. I think we're good to go. <sighs> All right, we're going to bring... This is a skirmish. I'm not sure if we've got an overeater, so we'll bring a little extra food. We're going to bring lots of torches because we're going to be spending a lot of time in battle. Yes. Uh, one shovel. Couple bandages. Mm. You know what? I don't think we need bandages. But I will bring holy water and a key. They do have their uses. So, uh... I wish you got your money back from this stuff, but I get it. I get it. If you're going to be unforgiving, be unforgiving through the whole game, not just part of it. Okay, away we go. <sighs> we can do this. Trust me, our luck is going to turn around. It'd be like episode seven. It'd be like, oh, things, things are getting better. Be back. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line? Yeah, dude, what you said. Okay, so we're going to go backtrack first. Go do this one first. Rather than have to come back here. Oh, battle right away. I'm prepared for battle. We've got a lot of healing capabilities in this team, so we should be okay. Oh, he's marked. So these guys will mark... Certain creatures can mark their targets, and then other creatures can do more damage to them. It's actually a great tactic. Uh, for yeah, And we can you do the same thing. I can... Yeah, so this guy actually has a skill that where you can mark targets too as well. He doesn't own... He doesn't actually have the skill right now, but he has access to it. So he's got this skill called Bola which does a little less damage, but can knock back creatures and, so in other words, move their position around, and of course, do a bunch of damage. So it's a great little skill. Actually, the Arbalist is pretty good. I like the Arbalist. Um, they do start a little weak sometimes. Like, they don't have the right skills, but he's a pretty good combination. He's got some healing and everything too, so. Um, I think we'll just apply damage. Oh, try to apply damage anyway. And of course, uh, oh, oh he doesn't have my, uh, my the skill I love so much. Oh. He's got stunning blows, so he can stun them, and he can just do damage. Oh, okay. Well, damage it. As the fiend falls, a faint hope yeah. blossoms. Yeah, okay, so that's a problem. That's okay. Uh, she can heal. That's what she's going to do, too. She can also do this thing called judgment, but um, judgment damages the enemy and heals her at the same time. But she's not damaged, so she'll just heal. Like so. Perfect! Oh, this is going to go much better, guys. Much better. Ah, awesome. Kill it! Come on. Is there a reason why you can't kill things? 
He must. Uh, he might have a penalty to hit or something. I'll have to check that out. Give them no quarter. Still, no problem. That was. Well, took one point of damage. He took Remind a bunch of stress. That of course. Ooh. <gasps> an insidious killer. A very rare artifact. Uh, plus 30 blight resist, plus 30 bleed resist, plus 30 debuff resist. But it makes it so that whoever's wearing it can't apply those things to somebody else very easily. So it'd be excellent for somebody like uh, the cleric. Be amazing. Or... Uh, or even him, or any of the, the tanks. Oh, brilliant! That is one of the best I've seen so far. Very rare. Wow. Holy smokes. Okay, that's awesome. Super happy about that. <laughs> okay, uh, who, who's our trap guy? Not that I think that... The crate can't have a trap, but it's good to check to see who has the best trap capability. <laughs> Everybody's at 10%. We have nobody that is good at traps. Okay, so everybody's at 50% disarm. So I think might as well be the arbalist. But there wouldn't be traps on a crate anyway, I just wanted to see. Oh, that was good. There won't be traps on that. I don't think you can have bad things happen from the uh, crates and the sat satchels. You can have nothing happen, which is fine. Torch went down a little bit. Oh, oh I hate that. Son of a <laughs> dirty little pig loving. Ah, okay. That's right. That's right. Stress him out. Right. The acolyte is a real. That's the guy we need to take care of, like as soon as possible. Problem is, uh, we don't have. He's in the wrong position to actually deal any damage. So he can buff though. Plus ten accuracy for everybody. Oh, that's nice. I like that. So he can stun, or he can smite. He gets plus 15% damage for unholy, and the bone defender is unholy. So whack! Yeah, that's, that didn't seem anticlimactic, anticlimactic, didn't it? So he can do sniper shot. I need to get rid of that acolyte. One more shot, he's dead. That acolyte causes so much trouble. <laughs> Usually the guys in the back are just trouble. Like he can cause stress, enormous amounts of stress. Uh, illumination. So that will actually raise our torch level by five. It'll cause damage and make it so the target can't dodge. Or we can heal everybody. I think we just need to move position. There we go. Because her, 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 the other one that I really wanted to use is, it's like a sniper shot. Uh, the one I keep talking about, Judgment, where it damages them and heals her. And it does decent damage too, especially against Unholy, I think. Uh, okay, so damage versus Unholy. Ah, oh, if he's not dead, he's still just as much of a threat as he was before. Oh, oh, stop that! I hope you guys are enjoying my screaming. Judgment, here we go. Back. Confidence surges as and the gets enemy crumbles. Points. Love it. Stupid Eldritch. Stupid, uh, no, not Eldritch, the Acolyte. Oh, stupid thing. All right, and Bellow, and he only has one point. Done. Excellent. That worked really well, actually. And completely useless. Oh, he can clear stun and clear mark target. Okay, that's good to know. But useless in that position. Yeah, stress. 20 stress every time he does that. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> Just... Ah! Hit them! Destroy them! Okay. Whack! You so deserve that. See why I like that skill? That is an awesome acolyte, or the uh, cleric skill, whatever he is. Ah, love it. Did we, did we do our names this time? I don't think we named our guys. Oh, okay, hold on. Victory. Another... But a victory it's a common one this time. Uh, snake oil, common. Plus 10 stress resist, uh, minus 10 virtue. I'm not sure what virtue is. Uh, and some gold. I don't think we named our guys this time. Oh yeah, we didn't. Okay, uh, we can do it now. The Arbalist is going to be... Nick Combs. Hello, Nick. Welcome to the group. And who else did we have here? Do we have anybody? Oh. Back in position. And Lors is going to be... <laughs> uh, 
Sumo Child. Might as well do the full name. 64? Nah, just Sumo Child. There we go. You know who you are. There we go. Awesome. I hope you don't die. <laughs> That's about the best I could do for you. I hope you don't die. Welcome. Welcome to the team. You're like, oh, I don't want to be part of this team. This is like the worst team ever. This is like the worst party you've ever been to. A terrible house guest. Show up, start beating up the people that live here. Okay, so here we go. Are we? Oh yeah, we're doing the room battle one. Okay, so we need to... Man, it's just filled with creatures. I don't remember it being so brutal, but maybe it was, I don't know. It seems worse when you're, when you're losing. Um, Divine Grace, we could do Divine Grace and heal one person, or we could do everybody, or we could do the Judgment. I think we'll do Judgment, and try and get rid of that, uh, crossbow guy. And you, sir, are going to do Stunning Blow. Yeah, I like his other, I like the other skill you can have the Crusader, for the Crusader that damages the two front guys, it's way better. These guys are unholy? Yeah, they are unholy. I should use the other... Whatever. Okay, so uh, he can use... Or he can just do damage. Let's do damage now to the guy that's stunned, because he's already out for, now. out for a round anyway. There we go. Perfect, that was actually great. And he can do the sniper shot on this jerk. Jerk. And maybe we can do some healing here, maybe. Maybe. Uh, well, if we can kill him, let's kill him. Yes. Awesome. Oh, that went real. Ah, felt like there was a little bit of a teamwork thing going on there. That was good. Promises success. Some good stuff here. Good money. Stashed heirlooms. I always want to say heirlooms, but they're, they're heirlooms. Last time we had one of these, it didn't go so well. Uh, Ashes of Departed. Let's use the holy water. Yes. Uh, so Finding we cured it and we got some stuff. Test. Now Excellent. it must be carried home. Excellent. Let's use some torches. We're at 25, darkness. Uh, let's go all the way up to 100, and away we go. May we find victory. Ooh. Okay, more bad guys. Oh, would have been nice if we'd have surprised them. We haven't surprised anybody yet. We're going in with lots of light. I don't know why we're not surprising anybody. Ah, uh, okay, that's fine. We're doing okay. That guy needs to die. He needs to die. The cultist acolyte needs to die. Uh, who's, who's unholy? You're unholy? You're unholy. Done. Dispatched. Oh, I love that. I love it when we start to win. Oh, it's so much better than losing. But losing can be fun too. It's just, you know. Okay, one shot, and then we'll finish him off with the judgment. You've been judged. Oh, didn't finish him off. But we got some hit points for that. Um, but if we do the bellow, we might be able to finish him off. There we go. Done. Excellent. So yeah, Bello uh, debuffs everybody and does one to two points of damage to everybody. And it can critical, though, and do a bunch more, which is great. Uh, so let's try and take care of this other dude. Ah, between these two, they can pretty much take care of anybody in behind. Oh, nice. Ooh, cured some stress. Oh, oh finally. Finally. Finally feel like we're doing some good here now. Um, let's, let's try and kill him. And maybe do some healing along the way. I don't know. Let's just let's just kill him. Ah, oh, don't miss. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, uh, yeah, kill him if you can. Perfect. Done. Done. These nightmarish Ooh, creatures can be Excellent. spelled. They can be beaten. And these, I think, are usually uh, altered, desiccated, oh, dedicated to unholy abominations, but we don't have any more. <sighs> Perhaps a great power lies within. If we had holy water, uh, but we used our holy water. You know, maybe we'll come back to this. We'll do it later. I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, we'll go this way. Because it could be really bad, and I, without, if we had a holy water, it would be okay, but... Uh, he's still being, he's bleeding. Okay, so, you, sir, these guys have, oh yeah, they're just fast. Okay, so, hmm. Just, uh, they don't have a lot of hit points, though. They're pretty tiny, so just kill them. Yeah, just do that. Just impunity. kill them. 
<laughs> awesome, didn't leave a corpse either. Um, Bola. Ebola. Oh, beautiful. Ouch. Bugs. Bugs! Ow! Stabby, stabby. Uh, that is one point for three rounds. Okay, that's not a big deal. And uh, I guess the best thing to do is just kill him. Yeah! Don't like the spiders. The spiders cause blight and stuff. And uh, since we've got a minute, uh, maybe do a heal? Let's do a heal on him. Now, if we, yeah, if we had some guys that did blight and bleed and stuff, we would heal more often. Um, I think we'll risk one more heal, hoping that we get the next attack. That would be nice. <gasps> yeah, it was worth it. We gained four, lost two. Totally worth it. And kill him. Ah, uh, actually, we should have waited. We should have taken his heal, too, as well. Actually, we should have done both of those heals. Damn it. Oh, well. Next time. So, too, will resistance. You know, sometimes it's just managing your turns and figuring out what you can and can't do. Uh, risk it? Rusty Iron Maiden stands against the wall, collapsed shut. Stash loot. Ah. They are random, by the way. These things can be good or bad. Uh, we don't have enough room to carry everything. So... We will use one torch. As the light gains purchase, Perfect. spirits are lifted. Yeah, it's not Our good for treasure. Is made clear. I fully expect to get uh, attacked again, so it's fine. A lot of stress happening. Ah, yes. This could be the last battle. I mean, all we have to do is clear the bad guys out of the Mortality rooms themselves, and this is a treasure. In a single so, oh my strike. God. Yeah. Um. We bellow and destroy their dodge. Yes. Nice. Critical, too. Excellent. And debuffed everybody. Perfect. Okay. And he can do da lots of damage to Unholy. Can also mark target? Oh, it makes him a marked target. Okay. I guess. That's weird. Uh, I think we just smite and try to kill somebody. There we go. Done. And... You are going to judge. Which one? Do we go for the guy that... Yeah, go for the guy that kills our stress. Cause, or causes stress. Yeah. I don't mind if she's damaged a little bit. Because she will continue to use that judgment spell. And uh, it's awesome. So uh, let's just eliminate this guy. Entirely. Well struck. Wow, good hit. Wow. We're doing pretty good, actually. This is a good team. I like this team. This is going better than uh, than what we've seen so far. Uh, you are going to judge him. You've been judged. Not as much damage as I was hoping for. But... Ah, man, just a little bit more. Still, it's going okay. As long as that doesn't happen too often. Um, you can just... Uh, uh, two points... Ah, uh, let's just attack him. Ah, blast. Uh, he could... He nah, let's just... Kill him. Get it done. Finish him. Finish him. You, sir... You can try. There we go. Perfect. Excellent. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Having a healer makes all the difference. It really does. I would... Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, what do we get rid of? Uh, we get rid of the key? We don't have enough room for everything, and I want it I like the loot. We need the mad loot. Uh, we get- we need to get rid of the key or the shovel? I think there's less chance of us needing the key than the shovel. Oh, I don't know. I don't know! No matter what choice I make, it's gonna be the wrong one. So let's get rid of the shovel. I'm hoping for loot, is basically what I'm saying. I'm hoping we get good loot. Oh, that's it for the quest! Oh, fantastic! Oh, so that, we made the right choice then, because now we can just, uh, we can go look for loot, which is great. Doesn't matter who tries to open it. Yay! Excellent. Now we can let the torches die out. Well, maybe. Hold on. No. There, there could still be bad guys in the halls like that. Perfect. But we can see where they are, which is great. So let's go get this loot down here. Oh, this actually went really well. I'm super impressed. Who's going to try and unlock that trap? Uh, 
Because you do, you get you get uh, stress relief. Hunger. You get stress relief for removing traps. So usually your high stress guy should go after this. Except we're not very good at traps. So. Mechanical hazards possessed by So it kind of backfired there. Totally, totally didn't do what I wanted it to do. But that's okay. Um, we're going to let the light just kind of die out. I'm curious to what is there. But I'm not going through the bad guys. Or should we? Yeah, maybe we will. But we're going to go do this one first. Go collect all the goodies. Oh, no. Well. The walls close in. The shadows whisper of conspiracy. <laughs> Guess he's paranoid. Um, so he's afflicted, which means he's going to cause everybody else to get more and more stressed. You know, things were going too good. I, you know, that's 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 the thing. Things are go were going too good. He's already afflicted. We might as well... Uh, no, he might as well do all the dirty work. Open this too, just, you know. Oh, it was locked. Oh, we could have used the key. <sighs> this game is so unforgiving too, right? Because now we, God, it's, it's, it's my own fault. Yay, he disarmed something. It's my own fault. We could have got loot from that thing, but whatever. I mean, that's the point of what we're doing right now, is to get loot. I just need to be paying attention. Stop talking so much. I can't help it. I, I will always talk so much. Oh, everybody eat. Okay, and, um... He's running out of hit points. We're just going back in here, and then we're going to light up the torches. We're going to go fight whoever's there. Maybe we will move our cleric... Uh, no, the cleric has to stay there. Yeah. Should we try this fight? I don't know. It's risky. The match is struck. There we go. A blazing star We're gonna try. is born. We can always retreat and go back because we finished the quest, right? So. <laughs> it's okay. We don't have to go through that. We can go around. We'll take the long way. Sucks, but we'll take the long way. Um, yeah, this isn't a problem. We can kill these guys. Not a problem. Of course, it's only what it's always when I see them that it's a problem. I might even get a heal off in here. That uh, won't matter. Heal! Oh, such deception. He thinks that she's trying to trick him because he's paranoid, so he refused the heal. <laughs> I love this game! I love it so much. It is so good. Um, can we even do enough damage to kill him with that? I don't know. I think we're better off just using the heal. Um, that heal also gives a buff so that any other following heals will be better. So now it gets plus 20% heal received as well. Um, just kill him. Kill him! There we go. Singular strike. Excellent! <laughs> oh, we got a little bit of money, but we're gonna have to go back. Because we do not have the shovel anymore because we got rid of it because we're so brilliant. For the key that we could have used that we never used. Yeah, you you really feel it. When you make mistakes with this game, you really feel it. Like, I do anyway. I'm like, oh, I can't believe I did that. And I beat myself up over it. And I'm sure you guys are, like, shaking your head, too. And you know what? When you play this game, you, you don't you don't realize how bad of a mistake you've made until, like, you, after you make it. It's, it's like most things, right? Okay, so there is a trap there. Um, we'll try to get him to do the trap. <laughs> Yay! There we go. Done. Perfect. Look, the shadows. They wait in ambush. Shut up. You're making everybody else paranoid. Now we can try to use this thing, which we avoided the first time. I think we'll save that for the night. <sighs> Purely decorative. <laughs> oh yes, we're, we're gonna keep going. You know what? We're going all out. We're finishing this thing. Hunger, we've got enough food. Eat away, guys. Unlock the trap. Hey! Uh, there's one more place that has possible loot now. And uh, then we're done. <laughs> we, are, we are milking this bad boy. We are milking it for everything it's worth. Yay, a crate! Uh, doesn't matter who opens it. Oh, I should have killed all the light. Oh, well. We would have got a bonus. All right, there we go. Quest complete. More moans. All things considered, that went okay. Devils remanded to their abyss. 
that went better than uh, than the last few fights. I have to admit that was a pretty good team. Having a healer makes all the difference. And uh, I'm pretty impressed. We got a lot of heirlooms, a lot of heirlooms, heirlooms, and a lot of treasure. Five grand plus the three here and 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 a goodie. Honestly, that was that was really good. Oh, and we got a, a rare item too. I think. So here we go. The crapshoot. Tariq. What what happened to Tariq? He got. Oh, now he's compulsive. Suffers from intense uh, intense need to do specific actions. That's very unspecific. Uh, he's a ruins tactician, which is good. He's good in the ruins area, and he's got bad humors, which gives him minus twenty maximum hit, hit points. Fan freaking tastic. <laughs> uh, Sumo Child um, has negative ten percent stun resistance. And uh, Nick Combs is now a gambler. He will only gamble in town. Fantastic. Uh, plus five, five accuracy, which is great. But he's got rabies. <laughs> Where did you get rabies? <laughs> That's insane. Where did you get rabies? Oh my god. Okay, so minus 10 accuracy and plus 15% damage. Our, our group is disease ridden. I tell how much time has passed since I sent that letter. Okay, Zephyrfura had a night in the town and recovered 56 stress. That's good. Uh, even Bar uh, Evil Barrel gambled and recovered 56. Mr. Pat prayed and recovered 69, finally. Um, True Blood. Oh. True Blood cured both of his diseases. Fantastic. That was a bonus. Oh, that's really good. That's great. Uh, and I think that's it. Okay, and we got some, some new guys up to level one. <sighs> All things considered... That went pretty good. Now we have access to the Nomad Wagon, which allows us to shop for rare items. Trinkets and charms, gathered from all the forgotten corners of the earth. That we'll never be able to afford, because we're not spending that much on anything right now. Um, it, and like I said, nothing's nothing's great. Everything's Some things are really good, like that one thing that we just found. This here, really good. Cleansing Crystal, very rare. So it gives us a bonus to all of the blights, the buffs, and all that and makes it so we can't apply them back, which is fine because there's a lot of characters that can't do that. That's great. That is actually one of the best things I've seen in a long time. Actually, I think that's the best thing I've ever seen. That is, believe it or not, that's the best thing I've ever seen. So, whew, that's really good. And we all now we now also have access to the survivalist. At home in wild places, she is a stalwart survivor and a strict instructor. Yes, she will teach us camping skills, but we're not talking about camping right now. Uh, camping's, camping's coming. It's, we're not even close to being ready to a point where we're going to be camping. So, all things considered, it's actually going not that bad. I know you're probably looking at this going, this is, this is awful. This is terrible. Aside from the um, sheer amount of diseases that our guys have, um, aside from that, actually everything's going okay. It's okay. We've got a team. We've got a, a few people we can use. Um, a leper. Yeah. A uh, jester. Ugh. I had a jester once and it was terrible, but it's probably not as bad. I don't know. I, I would replace, I don't know. I don't know. I'm tempted to add, can we add? No, actually even more importantly, can do we have access to the guild? Can we make some, uh, uh, we can uh, make it cheaper, but we can't actually add skills yet. Uh, what about the blacksmith? <gasps> we can now get new armor. Oh, new armor. And or new armor or weapons. Okay, so that's huge. We're going to do that next episode, which I'm going to record right away. So that should be fun. All right, guys. I hope you're enjoying this. This is such a blast. I hope you guys are enjoying it, though, because I'm hoping that when I get back, you guys are going to be like, do more, uh, rather than we hate this, never do it again. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Okay, see you soon.